I think that it's, it is important for teachers to recognize themselves as identity workers. And that phrase I've got from Rochelle Gutierrez in, from her social political turn article um, in which she really just lays it out uh, around why or how um, teachers are, um, um, how they are identity workers. And to me, one of the things that is powerful about this quote is, is just to recognize the power teachers have in shaping how students see themselves as mathematical learners and doers. And children develop their own sort of their own understandings of and positionality around mathematics in conjunction with the ways in which others are positioning themselves as math learners. And a very important part of the other is the teachers that they interact with on a daily basis helps shape their identity as mathematical learners. And so, you know, Rochelle Gutierrez talks about all math teachers are identity workers. By virtue of mathematics as political, being political, all math teaching is political. All math teachers are identity workers, whether they consider themselves as such or not. They contribute to the identities students construct as well as constantly reproduce what mathematics is and how people relate to it or not. And so for me, teachers have a power that is so valuable and vulnerable to have that students are going to be interacting with them and, and seeing themselves as math learners and doers in the classroom that they get an opportunity to design and, and um, cultivate. And so how teachers or how students engage with the mathematics, how they walk, what, what a question I would ask a teacher is, what do you want students to remember your, their math experience from your classroom? How do you want them to see mathematics when they leave your, when they leave your class? How do you want them to see themselves as math learners? Um, and have teachers start to really take a look and sort of, in a sense, own the fact that they are um, contributing to how kids see themselves. And what do we want in the end, right? I do truly believe that teachers do not want to hurt children. I truly believe that. What I worry about is that they inadvertently might be constructing environments that are harmful to students because they are immersed themselves in the ways in which we label students using deficit language. And we need to, in a sense, clean the air. We need to reframe those deficit views um, in terms of assets and recognize that there are growth areas. Everyone has them. Um, everyone's has strengths and everyone has growth areas. And for me, the identity work of teachers is to really recognize students and their wholeness and all of their humanity and be able to use their skills to build on the strengths and to create and, and have children um, uh, improve their growth areas.